the great contribution of Jack and Laura has really been to build Esri. I mean, it's been their life project, and it's really remarkable to see where they began on a little storefront in the center of Redlands to this incredible campus that they have created. To see a couple start with such kind of humble beginnings, create the largest GIS company in the world that's had such an impact on the planet and in so many industries uh, is just amazing. GIS is basically a way to abstract geography into a database and then visualize it and analyze these geographic relationships. It's being used by companies to cite stores or factories. It's being used by government agencies to do all kinds of governing work. But it's also being used by the conservation community to be able to see the areas that are most important to conserve. I was brought up in a family who had started a little um, nursery. We grew plants, we sold plants. And we worked with customers landscaping their yards. I like to say I learned everything about business and everything about what I do in the nursery. It's about growing things and supporting customers and uh, making people happy. My father always had this interesting story. When I was a kid, we walked by some plants that were sort of drying out, and he said, what do you see there? I sort of looked, I said, dried out plants. He says, no, you should see watering these plants. And I don't know, it means a lot to me because it, it sort of says when you see a problem, you do something about it. You don't just walk by and ignore and let the plant die. You've got to be involved in it and take an action. It's very exciting because even though many of us work in various sectors, they could be commercial, they could be government, nonetheless, they have the conservation values, the values of sustainability uh, embedded within the organization. My wife and I started Estri in 1969. We were both working in a lab for computer graphics and spatial analysis at Harvard University. From the very beginning, Laura and I were partners. I mean, we worked together both in university, helped each other get through school, and then when we started the company, we've always had a strong philosophy of staying together and being together and trying to look after the business together. So it's, uh, it's been a great, great partnership. We met when we were 16, actually, in high school. Yeah. So. <laughs> She became part of the nursery family, actually, at an early age. So she knew my parents and knew that whole culture. Early in our work, people with money were able to afford this technology. They bought it, and they ranged from big cities to big federal agencies to oil companies and forest companies and so on. But also, we have a program where we donate our software to all kinds of NGOs. There's about 11,000 NGOs that are in conservation. There's humanitarian NGOs all over the world. We support them with both software and also training to help them be basically equal participants in society along with a business sector or a government sector. We're extremely passionate about making a difference in the world with geography and helping our customers and our partners do amazing things, such as the Audubon Society. Audubon showed great interest, so we formed a partnership to support them, particularly in their mission. And it's been just fantastic. One example is this incredible challenge around climate change, looking at the fact that up to half of the species in North America will be disrupted over this century. is such an incredible challenge, it's, it's nearly impossible to wrap your mind around. There's such incredible science being done at the Audubon to look at climate change and model these scenarios. So if you visit Audubon.com, you're immediately able to look at GIS data that's telling that climate and habitat story. I see our work at Esri as very parallel to what the Audubon Society does. We are both creating maps and visualizations that really help all kinds of people to understand why we need to preserve these different kinds of species and the Earth's ecosystems. Most recently, we've launched a big ocean science initiative so that we can understand the best places to put new conservation areas, new marine protected areas. That really is the last frontier on the Earth. Jack and Laura are really unique in their sense of using their company to change the world. And you rarely see that in American business, and yet you realize when you see what they have done with Esri that this is possible. With this next generation change of the technology, we're taking it to hundreds of millions, and ultimately billions, who will be affected and infected with this notion that they can apply geographic science and apply geography to make the world a better place.